Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. I have Gina here with me today and she's been hacking college and literally has done an entire semester of college in her first couple of weeks. Just tell me about like your success so far. You've been hacking college, you're a busy mom of three and you're absolutely crushing it. Yeah, so um, I definitely am uh, one of the people that Never thought in a million years that I could do any of this. Um, and when I came across, you know, your videos, obviously the first thing that came to my mind is there's no way this is too good to be true. Um, and, you know, did a little bit more research, a little bit more diving into your videos and just realized that, wow, maybe this is a possibility that I can do this. Um, so not having the, you know, that being so intimidated to just go into college and how am I going to get all of this work done? How am I going to balance my, you know, home life, my kids? And where is the time going to come from? Because um, I don't really find time now without being in school to do much of anything else. Um, but the the intimidation of going into going back to school was just overwhelming until I did find you, honestly. And um, I can't believe that I've done five classes in five weeks. Honestly, it still really hasn't even hit me. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so excited for you. I got to say, for, for those of you watching, Gina emailed me. So the process and every student's a little bit different because it depends on what major you're getting and what learning style works better for you. But Gina is testing out of classes. Well, to test out of a class, you usually have to pass a practice test, and then the school will grant you access to go and test out of the class. Well, your first class, Gina, you emailed me and you passed the practice exam after two days. And then the reason it took you, I think it took you six days to finish your mm -hmm. first class. But the reason is because you were afraid to take the exam. Yeah. So for those watching, like Gina's, she's at five weeks and she's done five college classes. So we're talking like four month college classes, like she's doing one a week in her free time. Well, the, she should be going faster. She's been scared that she's not doing it right. And you could be going even faster. So I'm trying to push you to go even faster, Gina. I know you are. I know you are. I'm, I'm, I, my last class that I did, I probably, I probably could have gotten another class in that same week, but because I passed the pre-assessment so fast, I was like, there's no way I could do this. There's no, way. I have to go back and read the material, even though I passed it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I, you know, I was like, you know, it's that second guessing of myself, which I tend to do a lot. I overthink, I second guess myself. Um, so I probably, like we talked about, I probably couldn't have, could have gotten at least another two classes in by now. So I would have been at mm -hmm. eight instead of six. It's almost this, like we stop ourselves because schools, like we've learned our whole lives, like a bachelor's degree takes four years. Well, I I'll start working with students and they'll like slow themselves down because they think that wait, wait, this isn't supposed to be happening. Like yeah. I'm going too fast. Yeah. So they'll, they'll like, like subconsciously slow themselves down because there's a lot of nerve that comes with like going against everything you've been taught your whole life. It's the same degree. You're learning the same things. It's not like you're skipping stuff. You're learning what you need to learn. You're just not doing it the school's way. The school's way is like so outdated. Yeah. Um, Like what, what are your thoughts about like, what it takes to hack a degree each class versus like the traditional reading textbooks, doing homework assignments and quizzes and group projects and study guides and lesson plans and all that stuff. It's pretty different, right? Yeah. I think simplifying it um, and almost putting it into like, okay, so for me, I'm, you know, I'm 38. So I've had life experience. I've had drop jobs in corporate America. So I've, you know, I, I'm, I'm not right out of high school where I don't have much, you know, I haven't been out into the world a lot, but if, if you open a textbook and you start reading all of this material, it, it, you tend to like, 
you know, step away from reality of what you know in the real world. You know, you're just like your textbook smart. You're reading this, all you're reading all of this stuff that you're like, okay, I think I know what this means. Um, maybe I do. I thought I did, but now I don't. It almost confuses you more. So if you simplify things like, you know, you taught me to just break things down and really get to what they're asking you, that's what saves the time. Because there's so much stuff even even in the test that you think you have to know, but you don't. I have overstudied before. I know. I mean, I'm working fast, but I, I'm i not working as fast as I probably could because I am overstudying from being a little insecure on that. But once I get, I think I, once I get a little bit more into it, I'm going to be going even faster and faster. Um, but reading a textbook or reading material that kind of, confuses you more um, rather than just taking a very simple question and going, okay, how can I relate this to what I know already? Um, and teaching you to pull certain terms out of it. It almost makes, I know for me, makes me understand it a lot easier. I have horrible reading comprehension. You give me something to read. I'm not going to understand it. Um, it's going to take me four or five, six times to read it. So, and even then I really don't understand it. Um, but if I have something in front of me that's a lot smaller that I could break apart, I can understand what's being asked of me and understand a whole chapter of knowledge out of that two or three, you know, sentence paragraph rather than reading the entire chapter in a textbook. Exactly. And for those of you that are like, what the heck are you talking about? Like, how do you, <laughs> how do you not just do what the school says? Well, let's say this is a textbook. And the school wants you to learn everything in this textbook and every opinion that the teacher has because it takes a really long time. Reality is you only need to know like this much. So what we're doing is we're skipping everything else and we're only learning what's actually important to take oh. into our careers, to apply to life and to pass exams and get credit for college classes. It's a totally different process. Now, I have a lot of people that are like, to do this, you have to be really, really smart. One thing that stuck out to me, Gina, is you were like, I'm not smart enough. Like, I don't think I can do this. And then boom, you're like surprising and amazing yourself. Like you, you sent me an email, you went through the, the second week of my trainings and you emailed me and you're like, holy crap, like this is freaking awesome. Well, it's because we're just not doing it the school's way. Now, I don't want to keep this too long. I want to keep this short. But I want to inspire anyone who wants to get a college degree, but wants to do it in months instead of years. Gina, like in your shoes, people that might be insanely busy, like raising families and like you don't have time to be a full-time student and coming from someone who never went to college because you didn't feel like you were smart enough. Like what advice do you have for anyone who's like, can I do this? Should I do this? Is just it even do possible? It. Just do it. Just, just jump in, get organized in the beginning, learn, you know, learn the hacks. I, that is huge. I think that helped me is that I went through your whole program first before I even started. Um, Learn everything that you need to feel comfortable with it and then just do it. There's no, um, I will say that there was many times in my life that I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get a degree. I'm going to change. I want to get into the healthcare, you know, profession and I, I want to do this. And no, it wasn't the right time. It wasn't the right time. There were so many times that I told myself it was not the right time, that if I would have did it then, I would have been well done and into my career by now. So I could have said the same thing now at 38, like, no, I'm too old now. What am I going to do? I'm going to start now. I'm starting all over. But the reality is that that time is going to pass anyway. Time is going to happen no matter what. So you're either going to go through that time and actually achieve what you want to, or you're going to just in another three years from now, think back that, oh, I should have did it three years ago. You know, you, it, time is happening no matter what for you. So just do it. Just just jump into it. Have the confidence in doing it. Other people, I'm telling you, if I could do it, there is anybody in this world can do it. I have not been in school 
I graduated in 03 from high school. I never went to college. I went to trade school, became a cosmetologist, then went into corporate America, you know, into sales. I have zero. I went went into this. I don't even think I took my SATs, you know, like I I really had zero now I have zero knowledge in the college world. And it's very intimidating, I think, for people like me. Um, but it, you just don't want to, the older you get, just have all of those, I should have, would have, could have, you know, and, and that's the biggest fear for me is having regrets um, as I get older. So just go for it. You're, there's nothing that you are going to lose by trying this. If you really want to get a degree for yourself. You know, if you really want it, you have to want it. You have to study, you have to put the work in. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's not, it's not easy. You know, you definitely have to be disciplined with yourself. Um, it's not going to just come to you for free, but nothing, nothing good comes. That's free <laughs> pretty much in this world. <laughs> you're, you're so right. And I, I get the hesitation to like move forward with getting a degree to go get better jobs and things like that. If you're doing it the traditional way and it's going to cost you 60 to a hundred thousand dollars and four to six years of your life. It's like, like I get that, but it doesn't, it just doesn't. There are better ways to do it. You just can't do it the school's way. Um, Gina has been talking about me helping her and my program. I have a program called degree hacking Academy where I teach people how to hack college what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to that program. You can go and look at it and see if it's even something you're interested in down below in the video description. But here's the thing. The whole reason Gina and I got together today is because we want to inspire people to go make changes and to make their lives better. And Gina's, I mean, I, I've had students graduate as fast as three months I've had really slow students take like 18 months to get bachelor's degrees. The, the national average is like five and a half years for a bachelor's degree. So like the slowest of slowest students are like blowing it out of the park. Like they are crushing it. Gina, you're on track for like eight months now. I think you can do faster. You're starting to believe in yourself and think you can do faster. So well, now I have to beat you, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta beat me. I did it in I did it in nine months. Gina's gonna beat me and I'm gonna celebrate with her because that's huge. I'm not the type that wants to beat everybody. Like, no, I'm gonna teach you how to beat me and you're gonna do it even faster. So Gina, thank you so much. Any closing words for uh for anybody watching? Just do it. Go get it. That's it. Is this awesome? Quit hesitating. <laughs> Go get it. Go get Go it. Go get it. Hope this video's helped and inspired you to make a change and make your life better. I'm here to help if you need it. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you in the next video.